611 is your local election headquarters and with the primaries just about six weeks away, we are starting to see the candidates really ramp up their campaigns with television ads and appearances. This morning I'm joined by mayoral candidate Curtis Sleba, who is running against small businessman Fernando Mateo for the Republican nomination for the city of Newark, New York. Good to see you again, Curtis. Thanks for being here. Uh, it's a really bad time to be here because... Yeah. Uh How's that defund the police effort working in the city? We'll get into that in just a second, Curtis, because I want to talk about what we just heard from Katie Corrado, right? And that was the transit crime on the rise. I'm sure you just saw that report. Yesterday, four attacks on the subway. So we spoke to Police Commissioner Dermot Shea, who says there are 2,000 transit cops assigned to the subways. Let me ask you, is that number enough, 2,000? And what would you do to make the subway safer? Absolutely not. You need 4,500 transit cops. And if there's somebody who understands subways, it's Curtis Sliwa. I started the Guardian Angels 42 years ago patrolling the subways ever since. And if you don't have the visual deterrence of police down and the moving cars of the trains, which you never see them, or just clustered up on the platforms, which is not good enough, you're not going to be able to keep the riders and the workers safe in the transit system. So let me ask you, where are you getting that number then of 4,000? The police commissioner said he can't even add an additional 600 because then you're taking it off the streets where crime is up. So where are you getting the numbers from to put them down there? Well, absolutely, because when I'm mayor, what I'm going to do is tax Madison Square Garden property tax, Columbia, NYU, Rockefeller Me Medical, Cornell Medical. They, they pay no property taxes and have a dedicated tax specifically to hire and train more police officers so we get up to 38,000 where we need to be because we're plummeting because of early retirements to about 32,500 and you'll have plenty of uniformed police officers to patrol the subways which are completely out of control and first off I would remove all the emotionally disturbed persons and homeless people from the subways they shouldn't be living in the subways and they where would you put them put them where cars. if you're gonna remove you put them. them in mental health facilities which have beds available that's where they used to go the police would take them but Mayor de Blasio has said, no, that's not the way we go. These men and women need help for their mental disabled problems. They need their medicines. Their situation is only going to become worse if they continue to live in the subways. They're a danger to themselves and everyone else. Let me talk and about... Removed. Let me talk about what's happening above ground as well. Crime, gun violence plaguing New York City. The NYPD says there's a 30% increase in crime, an 86% spike in shootings from the same time last year. Three people recovering after being shot in Times Square just last weekend. What is the first thing you would do, Mr. Sleewa, if you were elected mayor to address the issue of crime above ground? Don't you think it's obvious after the shooting last night in Bedford-Stuyvesant by gangbangers back and forth, you need that street crime unit back out in the streets, undercover, patrolling areas where they know the gangbangers, they know who has guns, and they're proactive because right now they're reactive. And the gangs are going to continue to have shootouts, drive-by shootings, and then the revenge cycle takes place. So if you don't allow the police to be proactive, if you don't Get that street crime unit back in the streets that de Blasio took out of the streets when he removed a billion dollars from the police budget. You're not going to be able to stop the violence. And by the way, I asked the question to start. How's that defund the police effort working in the city? Look at the statistics. How's that no bail situation, Cuomo, and state legislature working? Look at the skyrocketing violent crime. The problem is our elected officials have impaired the so police. You the police go out and do the job where they were trained to do. And when Curtis Lee was mayor, we're going to refund the police. We're going to hire more police and we're going to have safe streets and safe subways. OK, and I want to I want to talk about other topics as well. I, uh, I know your passion is for public safety, but there was also a lot going on about reopening, right? 30 percent of stores vacant, unemployment high. You propose some kind of loan program to get people off the ground. Can you explain a little more in about 30 seconds where the money is coming from for that loan program? Well, where do we get the money to bail out all the people who impaired us in 2008, the big bankers, right? You give them no-cost loans. It's the right to business. Men and women should have an opportunity to open up a business with none of the restrictions that take place, where there's fees and fines and permits and licenses. Give them an easy pass. The city should be helping them and mentoring them so that they can be successful 
because now is the time where they can make deals with landlords about the cost of rents, commercial rents, and this way we can get back, back to the city that we used to be, but we got to completely open up. I'm talking Times Square. I'm talking theaters, cultural centers, entertainment. And it sounds like... There can be no more restrictions. It sounds like oh. we are headed that way towards reopening, but that also brings me to the education front, right? And Commissioner Misha Ross Porter says she wants to do away with admissions testing for specialized high schools. You want to keep them. You're also in favor of gifted programs despite the racial disparities in black and Latino enrollment. Two things here. Would you bring in a new education chancellor if elected mayor? And should schools be fully operational in September or should there be a remote option? I have three sons who go to public schools, high school, junior high school, elementary school. They need to be completely opened up. Porter is going to go just like Carranza, but we're going to promote somebody from within the ranks. And what I'm going to say to all the schools, not just the public schools, the charter schools, the parochial schools, we need more vocational education. Many of the young men and women do not have the wherewithal to pass the academic standards, but teach them to be plumbers, carpenters, electricians, computer programs, healthcare attendants, which we desperately need. They'll be able to get good paying jobs, take care of themselves, their families, and be contributors to our city's rebound. But we got to start with vocational training right across the board, junior high schools and high schools, not just limited to public schools, but force it upon the charter schools. Understood. And schools too and will be better off for it and a new generation will have the skills necessary to negotiate for good paying jobs understood rapid fire coming your way so that was it we we're out of time giving everybody equal amount of time love your energy in the morning curtis you certainly have a lot of how much how many cups of coffee do you drink uh cups of coffee i'm just looking at my my <laughs> website we for mayor.com that's what everyone should do All curtis right. For Curtis, thank you very much. Appreciate your time as always.